Gray listing. How it works to combat spam email. Warmy blog. Spam emails are like digital junk mail, annoying, time-wasting, and sometimes risky. Gray listing acts as a bouncer for your inbox, only allowing trusted senders through. It's a simple and effective way to block spam. This video will explain how gray listing works and why it's successful in fighting spam. Gray listing is a spam prevention method where emails from unknown senders are temporarily rejected. Legitimate servers retry while spammers often don't, blocking unwanted emails. Introduced in 2003 by Evan Harris, it's now a key tool in the fight against spam. Legitimate servers resend after a delay, while most spammers don't. If the email is resent, it's allowed through and may be whitelisted, reducing spam effectively. Gray listing works by temporarily rejecting emails from unknown senders using a triplet of sender IP, email, and recipient email. The server waits for legitimate senders to retry, while spammers usually don't. Whitelists bypass trusted senders, and blacklists block known spammers, reducing spam effectively. Gray listing temporarily rejects emails from unknown senders, relying on legitimate systems to retry, while spammers usually don't. It tracks sender IPs and delays unfamiliar ones. In contrast, blacklisting permanently blocks known spam sources or malicious IPs without testing, requiring frequent updates to stay effective. Gray listing has the advantage of reducing spam by leveraging legitimate mail server retries, minimally impacting genuine emails and requiring fewer updates than blacklists. However, it can delay important communications and may struggle against advanced spam techniques. Blacklisting provides immediate protection by blocking known spammers and is easy to implement. Yet, it can result in false positives, mistakenly blocking legitimate emails, and requires regular updates to keep pace with spammers who frequently change their domains and IPs. Benefits of Graylisting Graylisting reduces spam by relying on legitimate mail server retries, requiring minimal resources and avoiding false positives by eventually allowing legitimate emails through. Potential drawbacks. It can cause initial delivery delays, affecting time-sensitive communications, and may result in undelivered legitimate emails if the sending server doesn't retry. To check for graylisting, send a test email from an external account. If it's rejected with a please try again later message, graylisting is active. You can also review server logs for status codes, 450 or 451. Alternatively, use warmy.io's free email deliverability test to track how providers handle your emails and identify graylisting. To avoid graylisting, consistently use the same IP and email address and ensure your server retries after rejections. Configure your server with reverse DNS, SPF, DKIM, DMARC, and feedback loops. Gradually increase email volume, monitor deliverability, and consider domain certification to enhance credibility. These steps will help ensure smooth email delivery. Gradually increasing your email volume with a new IP helps build your sender reputation and avoid spam filters. Regularly monitor deliverability using tools like warmy.io for insights. Certifying your sending domain can also enhance credibility and help bypass graylisting. These steps ensure timely email delivery. Just a quick reminder, give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe before you go. Don't miss out on our future videos.